Today is my first day trying on some magnetic lashes. I've been hearing about these for months now, maybe even a year. Wow. I am gonna quickly do my cheeks. I just did my full face already. And today I'm so excited because I am going to try to make some traditional Chinese recipes that are traditionally done with meat, but I'm gonna make a meatless version of it with the impossible meat. So real quickly, I'm gonna do my cheeks. I'm gonna use, of course, my palette. It's kind of dirty because I've been using this a lot. So yeah, this is my collab with Physicians Formula. It is my butter collection, and you can find it at Target if you're here in the US or if you're in Canada, you can find it at Shoppers Drug Mart. I always like to go in with bronzer and just contour a little bit. I feel like I've kind of exhausted everything that I can do at home. I think in the beginning, we all sort of went down this Marie Kondo path. Like everyone was cleaning things out. My house was cleaner than ever before. And then I went through the whole gardening period. And then now I am reading a lot, but that's also kind of boring sometimes. So please share with me, what are some things that you've picked up on during this period? Look how pigmented that is. Luckily, it's also very blendable as you can see. So it just, blends away very nicely. It has muru muru butter, tukuma butter, and kupuasu butter. So three different butters in here. So it smells really nice. And also when you apply it, it's just buttery. It also has like this nice glow. Although these blushes, bronzers, and highlighters are powders, they're so, so unbelievably creamy. Since I'm wearing this top today, I think I'm gonna go with the mauvier shade. So I'm gonna go in with Wildflower. I've definitely put on some weight too during quarantine. Now that I am just staying at home mostly, I find it really hard to push myself to work out. It's definitely on and off because some weeks I'm very motivated and I am just working out and I'm like feeling good. And then I have some weeks where I just kind of fall off and lately it's definitely been more on the falling off. But yeah, I'm definitely telling myself not to be hard on my own body because you can just work out girl all right so i'm just gonna blend this out it's such a pretty fresh color all right and that's it the two dishes i want to make today is definitely a little bit of a challenge because i've never made it before it's something my grandma used to make like every month she makes it so good so i think i'm gonna call her and ask mm. Hi, 我有兩樣東西想問你我今天就想整肉餅我也想整些肉餅放些雞粉放些豆粉我可以拜拜 Start cutting the squash Did I buy the right squash? Oh, I was supposed to peel it. <laughs> Hold on, we have to peel this. Peel the skin. I'm gonna keep the scraps for my compost bin. Now I'm going to cut them into rings, equally sized. Now I'm going to scoop out the center. Should look something like that. All right, now I'm going to make the stuffing for the opal squash. Mushroom bouillon, a bit more starch. I'm gonna do a bit of just avocado oil. So first I think I'm gonna put it in my hand, kind of make it into a meatball and then shove it in. Boop. All right, it looks pretty cute. This is the prettier side, so we're just gonna have that facing up. Okay, now I'm gonna pre-make the sauce that's gonna go on top of the squash. So you're gonna use some cornstarch. This is gonna help the sauce thicken. Add a little bit of water, not too much. 
And then we're also gonna put some vegetarian mushroom oyster sauce. Also gonna add just a spoon of sugar and a pinch of salt. Just mix. Halfway through, I'm gonna flip the squash over. I'm just gonna take one piece of the preserved radish. It's been about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna start cutting this up. a pack of the impossible meat into a bowl. This is where I'll start seasoning the meat. This straight up looks like real beef. I'm gonna just eyeball everything because that's how we do it. Um, this is the mushroom bouillon. I'm not gonna do too much because the pickled radish is gonna be really salty. I'm gonna add about a spoonful of the sesame oil. Some cornstarch to help with the moisture. I'm gonna slowly start adding in the pickled radish. Just kind of fold it into the mixture. All right, it looks and smells amazing. I'm gonna pour in the sauce and that's it. gonna taste but it smells exactly like how my grandma makes it especially this pancake I think it turned out really good the pancake is very juicy inside whoa <laughs> whoa oh my gosh whoa it's kind of crazy how real and like the traditional recipe it tastes Mm. Especially when you get the little radish in each bite. Oh, that's good. Definitely try the meat pancake recipe. Okay, now I'm gonna try one of these stuffed squashes. It looks very nice and moist. Wouldn't you like to be wifey material? We could have added more sauce. Maybe like some salt too. And maybe steamed it a little longer. Because the, the squash is still kind of hard. So maybe like mm -hmm. 15, 20 minutes, huh? Yeah. Mm. So happy right now. Okay, so I'm gonna finish eating, but before I close out the video, I highly recommend all of you to call your mom, call your dad, your grandparents, whoever makes the amazing food that you grew up with. Definitely call them and see how to make them yourself. Today, after calling her, getting the exact recipe and being able to make it the vegetarian version of it, my mind is just blown. And definitely try out these recipes and tag me in your photos if you try it out. And I'll see you in my next one.